Well, when you, first when you of see all, these shirts. ugly shirts. You know how Brazilians play on the beach, Copacabana, stuff like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back home, we play on the concrete. You see the size of the shirt? Yeah. There was no slim fit. There was no tightness on the body, so you it's can look big, cool. Yeah, 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 you, know? yeah, yeah. you just put it on and the shirt is like a bag. <laughs> <laughs> for coming on the show. Really yeah, appreciate yeah, you having no me. problem. So basically, this show is called What I Wore. It's basically a, a shirt show where we kind of go through your life in all the football shirts, kind of to tell your life story. Um, so it's, it's a real pleasure for me to have you on the show. You're one of my favorite footballers of all time. So we're going to start over here, childhood growing up. So I've got some heroes here. When you see these shirts, pick them through, what kind of like, memories spring to mind? Well, obviously, First of all, how do you get all these shirts? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, seeing seeing the Newcastle shirt, uh, of course the memories. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is the guy who I was worshiping, still worshiping to this day. You yeah, know, yeah. he was the the reason that you know I wanted to score goals. Obviously, uh, Shearer was not a big technician on the ball, going past people with some tricks and stuff. He was just bullying his way <laughs> past defenders, elbows, headers. It doesn't matter as long as the ball is in the back of the net. That's why it counts. And then one day, because obviously that shirt, <laughs> that shirt, I'm going home, and then my mom and my uh, and my dad is like, hey, we have a present for you. Wow. So how old is he? Well, when I was 17, I think. So yeah. this is probably 97. Wow. So I kept that shirt from 97 <laughs> when I was 17. And they gave me that present because they knew I was in love in Alan Shearer. And not so much for Newcastle, yeah. Alan Shearer. Yeah, you know, specifically. Specifically, that's did, why it's number did you, nine. Yeah, did you love the number nine because yeah, of him did, as well? I did. You Automa just knew. Automatically, I just knew that's my number. Number nine. Number nine. <laughs> Nothing else mattered for me. We know Shear is your hero now. We've got some of these classic Milan shirts. Yeah. What kind of memories do you have growing up watching this Italian great team? Well, the other one, obviously, automatically. Ambassador number, number nine. Number nine yeah. Yeah. Both of the number nine. And basically those two were like the chosen one <laughs> for me. In my mind, they were the gods and I wanted to be like them. Van Basten was more elegant on the ball. You know, he was like wow. a ballet dancer, you know, going around on the pitch and scoring really phenomenal goals as well. Scher was the same. You know, the one thing that common uh, about these two players, when they score goals, they both raise their hands. Both raise their hands, yeah. And I'm like, come on, I mean, look at that. That's what I do Sunday league as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and when I used to score goals back in the day, this was like uh, paying tribute this type of players when I was raising my head, ah, you know. Okay. So we've got some of your heroes here now. I want to pick up this uh, Bulgaria shirt from 94, right? What are your memories of that tournament and, get, and getting so far the tournament, watching this as a kid? And we've got some... Well, uh, this, this obviously was uh, 94 where we uh, uh, made our, you know, unbelievable uh, World Cup for the Bulgarian team. Right, right. And we reached the, the fourth place. I mean, obviously, we had a great team back then with Stoichkov, with Balakov, yeah, yeah. all these type of players, and we surprised the world back then. We're going there with no expectation, but at the same time, we knew that we have good players. And when they're starting to win, 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 and going up, 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 then we're like, oh my God. And that's how you, you want to be a football player. That's how you watch on the TV and you're like, I want to be like this, I want to be a player. Yeah, yeah. And this is how you uh, make young kids fall in love with football. And this is how heroes are born. And of course, after that, uh, as I said, Stoichkov, Balakov, this type of players, you start to want to be like them. Yeah, and you start sure. to train even harder because you want to be and yeah. like them. I want to talk to you about uh, Bulgarian football, the culture of it growing up. Because when I think about London football, it's like, you know, cages and stuff like that. Like, what was it like being a young kid? And like, what, what kind of places were you playing? Like, what, what, what did no, you know? It was, it was, it was, it was neighborhood football. So there was no grass. It was uh, concrete, yeah. you know, and this is where you, you, you try to show your best. And this is where me, particularly, I was every day. I was playing always with the big boys because my, my father, who used to be a football player, was telling me, go play with the bigger one. They kick you, <laughs> they put you on the ground, but you get up and then you're going to become stronger. And I was there with the big boys every day on the concrete. You fall down, you start to moan. Someone slap you in the head, <laughs> get up, continue. Yeah. You know, this is how you, you become stronger. And when you look back, this is the memory I cherish a lot. And then slowly but surely, I sharpen my 
my elbows as well, <laughs> uh, but also my technical skills. Because you know how Brazilians play on the beach, Copacabana stuff like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back home we play on the concrete, <laughs> and this is where you start to to to, to develop tricks, your technical yeah. and tricks and touch and everything. Love that. Okay, so you mentioned your father, so I got to bring out this shirt here. Um, I know your father played for for these TSK, guys. Yeah. What what is when you see the shirt? What's the memories? What does this shirt feel for you holding it now? Obviously, this shirt. This was my first team, professional yeah. football team, uh, going to play for the first team in Bulgaria, Ceska Sofia was a big deal because the coach of the team was the coach who made the Bulgarian fourth in the world. Wow. So it's the same coach. And obviously imagine how me going as a kid to, to the Ceska Sofia to the first team and seeing him and I'm like, <laughs> oh my God, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. You feel that the dream has been fulfilled and you feel great because you put in an iconic shirt uh, for a team uh, who is iconic back home as well. Watching myself before the game in the mirror, preparing myself and I'm like, here we go. You know, yeah, I made it, you yeah, know. Yeah. Uh, and it was a great feeling. And it was a great feeling. Uh, success uh, with the team because I show what I can do. And after that, after that it came uh, more big things for me. You signed for Leverkusen, so I've got some shirts here. Yeah. Pick me through these shirts. What memories spring to mind when you sign for this for this club here? Uh, all my clubs have good shirts, but yeah. some of the teams have really bad shirts. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> honestly, I'm like, who is the designer here? <laughs> who is the designer, man? Come on. And for Leverkusen, for example, I didn't like this. You didn't like I, that I, shirt? No, no, no. You didn't like this one? No, no, I didn't like this one. I don't okay. know. Okay, so when you okay when you get into a new season, yeah, you you look at that shirt you don't like. Does it affect you in any it way? It affects me, of course. I'm like, what? <laughs> Obviously, I cannot curse now here, yeah, but still, I mean, who designed this? Why is it blue? I want to be red. I want to be uh, white or maybe black. You know. <laughs> yeah. But this type of color, uh, it was obviously, it have a ring to it, but right. still, uh, the red and black so or, or the white. You don't mind this one. No, I don't mind this one. Okay. But I do mind because back in the day, you see the size of the shirt. Yeah. There was no slim fit. There was no tightness on the body, so you it's can look big, cool. Yeah, 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 you, know? yeah. you just put it on, and the shirt is like a bag. <laughs> yeah. and it, it was, it was funny. It was funny, but at the same time, obviously, shirt doesn't play. Yeah, the player shirt doesn't plays. play. You go on a crazy Champions League run. Um, Obviously, you play Celtic, you play Liverpool, you play United. What was that like playing in this Champions League run and then ultimately getting to the final in 2002? What are some of the memories that spring to mind when you see well, these we play, shirts? We, we play Liverpool. We play Liverpool. And Liverpool was a big team back in the days. They still are, yeah, yeah, excuse yeah. me. But uh, again, small team from Leverkusen playing the big dogs. Yeah, a lot of big dogs, yeah, yeah. yeah. And along the way, Beating everybody, <laughs> yeah. you know. You yeah. beat United as well. And, and we beat intense, United, we beat Liverpool, we beat Celtic. You get to the final though, this man pulls out like Man, a... let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> I can see it still hurts. Look, look at that shirt now. White. You, you like that? Beautiful. Yeah, yeah I it's mean, clean. it's something, yeah. it's something uh, special about that shirt, you know. Yeah. Uh, and I, I, I'm pretty sure on purpose they made this goat, you yeah. know, because it's a, it's a king football club <laughs> and they, they, the kings and everything. And when you line up in the tunnel and when you're a small boy, when I, like I was, I was 20, 21, still young, still going into the world football. And then you see in the tunnel Zidane, you see uh, Raul, uh, you see Roberto Carlos, uh, Ferna names. Fernando Hierro, I'm a big guy, you know, I'm tall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But back in the day, even if I was tall, Fernando Hierro looks like he was a mountain of a man, you know. Uh, he's taller as me, yeah, yeah, yeah. but sometimes your he's mind plays, plays trick on you. Right. And I'm like thinking, I cannot fight this guy, <laughs> you know. I, I have no chance. <laughs> Zidane, you see, sitting there like, oh my God, Zidane. And when he was about to score that goal, I was on the pitch already. And I was behind him on the, on the center line and I'm seeing him. So you got the, you got the yeah. direct view? Yeah, yeah, I was. And I was seeing Roberto Carlos sprinting on the left and, and uh, getting the ball to Zidane. And the moment Zidane was preparing to shoot like this, did you, you, see, you knew, already knew that the ball is going to be in the back <laughs> of the left. And I'm like, oh my God. You want to applaud gold like this on the pitch? <laughs> yeah. It's not possible. But in my mind, I was like, this is, this is unbelievable. And still, we played like equals. Yeah. I must say we deserve to win in the end, obviously, because we have a lot of chances to score. But Iker Casillas, 
we made him a goalkeeper he is <laughs> to this day because of us. We missed so many chances, he saved so many chances. In the end of the day, I think we, we deserved and we won the respect of everybody because of the journey we took. For sure. Uh, look at that, look at that guy. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you something, this was the guy. I never swapped a shirt in my life when I was used to play football. Why? Because I was not cared about who I play with. Obviously, I have respect for everybody, but I was more concentrated on winning. Yeah. But once in a while, there are the players <laughs> that you own them shirt. Ronaldo was one of these guys. Really? He was, he was phenomenal. We all know that. We play Bernabeu with Leverkusen. I'm very shy back in the day, but I won his shirt. We made 1-1. One, one. I score. Yeah. And I don't have the heart or, or my shyness is on my way to ask him for the shirt. So I play with a teammate, Juan, a Brazilian. Yeah, yeah. Like, Juan, please, please, please <laughs> go to him. This is happening after the game. Go to him and say, I want his shirt, please. I can do whatever you want, no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just give him my shirt, but I don't think he's gonna want it. <laughs> Just go ask him for a shirt. So Juan goes, five minutes later, I'm sitting there praying, please, please, please. And he's bringing my shirt, wow. Ronaldo shirt. So the one shirt I wanted, was, was so is that framed in your house as well? No, it's not framed, but it's in my house. It's not framed, it's in my house. And you know, this is the, the, the moment where I wanted just one shirt. You moved to England, the Premier League. Yeah. Uh, record signing for a Bulgarian player, I think it was 10.9 million. What was your feelings on Tottenham, the shirt? Well, when you, first when you of see all, these shirts? ugly shirts. Let oh, me tell you that. I like, you know what? I'm you know what I love? I love the honesty. Of course. This is the, this is the most honest football that's been on this show. You're just saying this shirt ugly. For me, I, and I, I was telling this everybody when I play with my teams, I'm like, who? Don't think I'm lying. I was saying, <laughs> who's designing this shirt? <laughs> who is designing our suits? I don't like them. <laughs> Put me in charge or whatever. Now, again, is the white, which in my mind was okay. Yeah. Uh, this I didn't like. What about this one? This, this chocolate. I love. This was yes. this was an exclusive yeah. one that they this did. This is even members. better for me than this one, to be honest. It is dark. There is some gold elements on it. Mm. It's like a bit uh, like okay, we are here. We want to represent. We we are special, or yeah. at least we need to feel special. Yeah, yeah. You know, Edgar Davids. I used to be in a room with him in my first season in <laughs> in, in Spurs. He, I love the guy. You know. Uh, you, got a, you got a crazy David story? Well, I, I, I have, but it's not for TV, <laughs> believe me. So, <laughs> but I love the guy because he's a, he was a legend when I was getting Spurs and he was unbelievable up and down the pitch, all bag of tricks, always trying to show me some tricks and teach me stuff. So I, I love him. Uh, the shirt, this is probably, if you ask me, honestly, maybe this comes first. I like that. So when I think of this shirt, obviously you, you beat, um... Chelsea in the League League Cup. What was that like? Yeah, we did. Getting Ch um, Tottenham's uh, most recent trophy in this shirt, like. Well, again, we are the underdogs, and everybody expected us to lose, probably, because obviously Chelsea with Balak, with Drogba, with Terry, with Lampard, Czech on the go, and we were going like uh, with the underdogs. But at the same time, I was confident in myself, and I I thought that the team have confidence as well, and we won in mm. in, in the end. And I think we were in that shirt, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, yeah. maybe I am, but still, uh, as I say, it's not about the shirt in the end of the day, but if you want a trophy, you want to look good, right? Yeah. When you go there, when you live a cup, you <laughs> want to feel, look good, you know, stuff like that. Not as much as back in the day, now it's even more of a trend, because I can see the new shirts, the suits, the ties and everything. Yeah. Back in the day, not many people pay attention to, to, that, to this type of... So you're of saying you was ahead of the curve? I'm not going to say that, but I, but I was. <laughs> right. Okay, so when you, when you figure this Tottenham shirt, I've got these, I just want to talk about some of the goals you scored. What was your favourite goal? Middles, bro. Well, let me tell you something, yeah. One of my, my favourite goals as well with that shirt, because it was a scissor kick. Yes, uh, scissor kick. It was a scissor kick, which I was a specialist, to be honest. I was practicing volley, scissor kicks, bicycle kicks, you know, this type of goals yeah, yeah, yeah. where, where you watch, yeah, spectacular. Yeah. And when you, when you score, even you, because you're going crazy, you can still hear the fans in the crowd go, wow. Yeah, or you yeah. do a trick or you something like that. And when I was doing them, I can hear the crowd. Wow. And in my mind, I'm like, that's how you do it, Bert. Yeah. Because <laughs> you're I wanted, entertainer. Of course, I want yeah. to entertain. And you go home, you try it. Yeah. A kids go home, try it. And they'll be like, I want to be like this. I want to do that. Like I was when I was watching Van Basten. And yeah, Sheriff. for real. And that goal was special because, again, it was, it was just natural for me to score with this type of movement. 
and you know people were surprised but sometimes you can do stuff just out of talent. Why did you go with the red side of Manchester? What was the what was the like key thing that made you go, you know what? I'm signing for these guys. Well, the red devils. No, look at that shirt. I mean the red, the gold, the, the So the, you like the, this one? The badge, I like I love this one. Yeah. The badge, uh, the history, the manager, the players, the trophies. I mean back in the day there was no comparison. Yeah. I mean, there was no second guessing, there was no choices to be made, uh, just one. And in my mind, it was like, this is the moment where I need to make the, my last, maybe final step of reaching my mountain, you know, my top, my personal top. So we got here, Ronaldo, I've got Tevez here, I've got Rooney. What was the training like? What was the two touch like? Like, what was it, what was it like being in these shirts with well, these iconic players? Well, one of the reasons I wanted to be part of this team is because of the players you, you, we are showing here and mentioning. I mean, who doesn't want to play with players like this? You want to be there, you want to be part of that team. You want to test yourself against the best players. And it was like challenging. It was fun. Of course, you need to have fun along the way. Sure. Uh, and you need to hold your own. If someone yells at you, he yells back. Otherwise, they're gonna walk all over you. Yeah. You don't want that. You need to show how strong so you are. So that, was that different to the other teams you had played? It was a different level, different mentality? The mentality was different because we're talking about winning team. Win every day. You fight between each other. You scream, you yell, you curse. But everything is about the win. When you stop the training session of the game, it we're stays cool. on the pitch. You're cool, we're brothers, don't worry about <laughs> it. Like family, every family fight, yeah, yeah. but about it's about the winning. And if you can do it along the way with good shirts, this one, for example, I love it. Not so much this yeah, one, to like be honest. One. No, I don't like this what one. What about this one? This one I can live with. <laughs> this one I can live with, but this was, this was the shirt that, that, that I love to, to put on. But when I think of Berbatov, I think this shirt. Long sleeve, the Aeon, the Aeon sponsor with the collar. Please tell me you like this shirt. Why, why do you, when you think about me, you think about that shirt? I think of that shirt, I think of, I think of the hat-trick against Liverpool, I think of the five goals against Blackburn, like I think of Berbatov, yeah. like in his prime, touch, yeah. flair, goals, that's the shirt I think Well, of. I like it, but I don't love it. <laughs> yeah, I like it, but I don't love it. This maybe have more of a weight on it because of the things you just said. Right. The free kick, the five goals against Blackburn. The memory the shirt can bring back are priceless. You can feel it, yeah. Of yeah. course, of course. The, the three goals, the, the bicycle kick against Liverpool, that win, a champions. Uh, we become that year, I become a goal scorer of the Premier League and, and my team as well. And all this comes with that shirt on my back. And then obviously you, you had like disappointments with the Champions League, yeah, right? So we play, you play in this, this shirt in the Champions League final, and then you're not in the squad for this one. What was that like, like being in, in these seasons and like being in amongst it and like just yeah. talk, talk me through the emotions that you had? Well, with. this one, yeah, in the first, the first Champions League final where we lost against Barcelona and I was on the bench and I came in later in the game. Uh, again, as I said, some, some shirt pulls memory out of you, some good, some bad. This this was a, a there bad was a bad one. memory, yeah. you know, obviously we lost. Uh, and again, you know, back then, nothing we can do because we played Barcelona. <laughs> I mean, so, this, are you got it? Because first final is Real Madrid, yeah, Galacticos, then you're playing one, and then two arguably the best teams of all time. Of all time yeah. like, what was that, what was that well, feeling playing like? Playing Barca was back in the day with Prime, Messi and Xavi and Iniesta and Pique and Busquets. And ov obviously, when I get into the pitch, when you go into a pitch, you want to do the best you can for your team. But when you play Barcelona, for example, the players, they know how to move the ball, your head is going to spin. Yeah, You're just running yeah. like chicken around and trying to catch the ball. Uh, and they were great and we, we try our best, we try our best in the first game. Didn't happen. This was more painful than the other one. Why? Because obviously I wasn't on the bench. Right. Uh, I wasn't on the squad, I didn't play. And that year, I was a champion. I was a goal scorer yeah, of my on, team in the fire. Premier League, Golden Ball. So uh, then what happened? What happened? What happened is that uh, when you're a manager, you make choices. Yeah. And in that particular moment, uh, Sir Alex decided not to count on me. Although I was so confident, I was thinking that if I can shoot the ball from the halfway line, it's going to go in the back of the net. <laughs> yeah. Because this is how good my season was, you know, playing yeah. and scoring all these achievements. And at the same time, it didn't happen for me on the final. Uh, and it's again, another, another bad memory with that shirt. 
So I want to move on quick here to obviously move to Fulham. Did you enjoy your time there playing I in did, London? I like... did. I think Fulham is a special place, which I'm very happy that they realise now and they're moving really good through the Premier League. Uh, and they have everything, they're in London as well, yeah. and good training uh, place, and, and the stadium is bigger now. I, w I wish it to be bigger when I was there, but it didn't happen, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but back in the day, when I was going to United, to Spurs, after that I was a bit more mellow, but to United, to Spurs and United, when I was going to the training session, I was dressing myself as I was going to my prom. You know, <laughs> with with jeans, with the shirt, with the uh, with the shoes, and I'm watching. Everybody was watching me, probably laughing at me, yeah, yeah. because, for example, Rooney was going with the flip flops to training <laughs> and shorts, and here is me next to him with my shirt yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. blazer and stuff like this. So this tra transition to the pitch, where I wanted to look good as well, right. with the shirts, and when the shirt was too baggy, as I told you, or the collar was like uh, a ferret or whatever, <laughs> I I didn't feel good. I mean, come on, simple colors, black, yeah. white red, white, and when I put the shirt, I wanted to be slim fit, a bit tight here on my sleeve, when the sleeve was like this, and it was like going up and down my yeah. hand. I didn't like that. So I was taping it here with a tape, <laughs> so it can go like this, and I feel more, I don't know, it just gave me more confidence. I don't know how, yeah, in yeah. my mind. Right, right, right. So uh, some players like to look good before the game. They stand in the mirror, hair, air bands, you know, and to look in themselves, <laughs> gel, uh, and shorts and stuff, you know, the socks when they put type through yeah, here, yeah, yeah. you know. That type of thing some players, most of the players probably do, some players don't pay attention to that. They just then go, go out there and enjoy. Like Scott was like this, it doesn't matter how he looks, go out there and destroy everybody. <laughs> so everybody's different. Last thing before we leave, yeah? So, Bubba, you're in a burning building and you have to save two shirts. Oh yeah. Only two shirts, yeah? So one shirt is My shirts, right? Yeah, your shirts, shirts that you've actually wore. So one shirt is based on your favourite memory wearing a football shirt. Your most precious memory wearing a football shirt. And the other shirt is strictly based on the look of it. So any shirt here that you like the look of, you can take one. But then the first one's got to be your favourite memory wearing a football shirt. Talk to me. Let's go with number one. Favourite memory wearing a football shirt, what are you going with? Oh my god. Because you've got some memories. You've got some memories. Wait, if, if, we, if we talk about strictly the memories that the shirt... The memories that the shirt brings to you. Brings to we me. Need one. That's impossible thing to make <laughs> and choice to make. But then if I need to, to make a memory from a, from a football, where I reach my, my top, my personal top, and scoring goals and making a champions, obviously, even if I don't like the shirt, you have to go with that. I will go with this one because I will become champions. I score my hat trick against Liverpool. I was the goal scorer of my of my team and the Premier League. So I need to take this with me. Okay, cool. Gotta take that with you. Okay, now we're looking at style, stylistics. And this one you can choose any shirt. Doesn't have to be one that you wore. Just any shirt here that you think me and you were going out, what are we wearing? First thing, probably I will go with this one. This is it. Yeah. I will take this one and run. <laughs> yeah. With the Ronaldo on the back. With the Ronaldo on the back, run. Uh, both nines, you both see? Both nines, yeah. I and love that, man. Let me tell you, if I was able to play with this guy, it was going to be a dream come true. Yeah. Yes. Love that. Berber, thank you so much for coming on, man. It's been no an problem. pleasure. Thank no you. Problem. Thank you very much.